Hey what's up guys, this is Nine, and you're watching my Call of Duty Ghosts quickscoping tutorial. Throughout this year, I'll be putting out videos on a regular basis to help you get better at quickscoping and sniping in general. I've been sniping for a long time, and I can teach you a lot of things that most people don't know with sniper rifles, like I'll teach you the fancy stuff, like silent shots, the practical things, like reload cancelling. I'll give you tutorials on each map and show you how to play them with a sniper rifle. Everything you want to know to get better at sniping, I'll show you this year. So make sure you subscribe if you want to get better at sniping. And what you're watching today is the very basics that everybody needs to know before they get into the more advanced stuff. So before I go any further, let me just ask you to consider liking this video. It only takes two seconds to hit that like button and it helps me out tremendously. All right, so thank you to everyone who subscribed and who hit the like button. Now let's get into the tutorial. So before you do anything with quick scoping, the first thing you need to do is get used to the scope in speed. Now, you can do it like this, you just hit the trigger and scope in and out, in and out. What you need to do is get used to the speed with each sniper rifle. It's going to be slightly different with each sniper rifle, so each time you switch over to a different one, do this a few times, scope in and out, and get used to that timing. So then when you actually go to shoot, you're not wasting time uh, staying in your scope like this, leaving yourself vulnerable to enemies around you uh, when you can't see your surroundings and your peripheral, peripheral vision is cut off. You don't want that. You want to be able to scope in and out as soon as possible so you're not wasting any time. You should do this long enough uh, until it becomes muscle memory and you don't have to think about it while you're doing it. It's just automatic. You know how long with your finger that you need to hold it down in order to get your shot off. And uh, like I said, it's different with each sniper rifle, so try it with each gun uh, before you start using it. And I suggest you practice in a private match like this. Uh, you can put some bots in the match so you can practice against them. And uh, then that way you're not getting slapped around by real players before you're ready to snipe or quick scope. All right, so the next thing that you need to do is make sure that you stop moving before you shoot. So as you can see here, I stop moving and then I shoot. Do not do this. Do not keep moving while you're shooting because that way it's a lot harder to aim. And also sometimes your shot will not go straight and uh, the bullet will just miss your enemy altogether. Okay, so try to uh, stop before you shoot, and you'll make sure that your bullets are 100% accurate. The next thing is when you see people moving across your screen from left to right or right to left, instead of scoping in right on them and then ending up having to chase them like this and leaving yourself exposed to enemies from uh, other directions ready to shoot you, predict where they're going to run. If you see someone running here this way, scope in front of them. So scope here shoot don't waste time going like this it's just going to get you killed you don't want to be standing around uh exposing yourself to enemies like that it's just going to end up giving you a lot of deaths that you don't need so that's just something that a lot of people miss when they start getting into this and uh, it's really easy to do just make sure that you're aiming ahead of people instead of chasing them around like this it's a big waste of time okay so the next thing is bolt action sniper rifles are the big sniper rifles for making montages when you watch a montage most of the time it'll be all bolt action sniper rifles. And the reason is, it's a lot more trendy, it's a lot more hip to use bolt action. Uh, it's kind of like, if you if you think of semi-automatic sniper rifles like the VKS and the Lynx, it's kind of like using an electric scooter at a skate park. It's just kind of frowned upon, it's not cool. <laughs> you can do it if you want, it could be fun, but it's not, it's not uh, the coolest way to snipe, uh, if I can say that. So it's up to you. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Every once in a while, I will use a semi-automatic sniper rifle. It's a lot easier. You can get more kills. But if you want to uh, record montages and all that, then bolt-action sniper rifles is the trendy way to do it. And it's been that way for years. So what you have to do with bolt-action sniper rifles is because the fire rate is slower, like you can see the fire rate here, it's not that fast, especially when you're going up against assault rifles and marksman rifles, SMGs and everything like that. So what you need to do is between shots, you need to make sure you're behind cover so your enemies can't just kill you. You don't, you don't want to just stand around like this waiting for them to kill you. So you take a shot, move behind cover, and take your next shot. That way, you're not exposing yourself in between shots, uh, waiting basically to take a bullet to the head. So the next thing is really important. And this is the most important thing if you want to improve your sniping, get better at quick scoping, get better scores, get better KDs. What you need to practice is lining up your enemy in the middle of your screen before you scope in. See, I, I could line up the enemy there, well, this, this pylon, without being scoped in. I knew where the middle of my screen was. 
And I don't have any sticker on my monitor. I don't have anything like that. And in this game, they actually took out the reticles. So you can't. it's not marked in the game where the middle of your screen is. But if you snipe for long enough, you get the hang of it. And you know where the middle of your screen is. So uh, that's something you need to get the hang of. Because you can't just be sniping it. You can't just be scoping in like over here when the target's there. It's a waste of time. Once again, that time you're spending in your scope is time that you're exposed to enemies who are looking to kill you. So try and scope in right on your enemy right away. That's something that comes over time, but just keep that in mind when you're trying to improve. That's a big thing you need to focus on. Okay, so the next thing is the way I think of quick scoping is uh, broken up between drag scopes and pop shots. So what a pop shot is, is kind of lining up the enemy, zooming in, zooming in and shooting. So you just zoom in and shoot without adjusting your aim or anything. A drag scope is uh, something that usually happens when you're further away from your enemy so that uh, it's a little bit harder to line up. So you end up aiming a little bit, just a little bit to the side and then as soon as possible you drag over to the enemy and then shoot. So that all happens much faster when you're actually doing it but you get the idea. It's just a drag scope happens when you're not zoomed in right on your enemy. You zoom in a, a little bit to the side by accident. You just quickly correct your shot and then shoot. Okay, so it's uh, pretty basic, just pop shots is when you are already scoped in right on your enemy, and then drag scopes are when you're a little bit off to the side, which it happens to everybody. Everybody who snipes, it happens to. So you just correct your shot, boom, right there. And most of the time, the majority of your shots will be drag scopes when you're playing online because players are moving around so fast, it's not just a pylon that's sitting there motionless, so don't worry about it. And the other thing is, don't worry about hard scoping if an enemy is far away. So like that far far pylon over there um let's pretend it was moving don't be afraid to stay in your scope for a second if you have to and get the shot you don't want to be trying to quick scope from this distance because most likely that's a that's a little bit far especially if the target's moving not everybody can quick scope that all the time and of course do not do it in search and rescue don't be the last alive in search and rescue and try and quick scope someone across the map and make yourself look like an idiot please don't do that just take your time on the shot it's okay to do it every once in a while Whatever the most effective way to get the kill is, that's what you should be doing. Because Call of Duty is such a fast-paced game dominated by SMGs and assault rifles, that's why quickscoping is so practical. But if you get into a situation where you need to take a hard scope, which is when you just stay in your scope for a second, hold your breath and take the shot, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just do what you need to do to get the best scores, the best KDs, the most amount of kills, whatever you want. Do it. Don't worry what anyone else says. Alright, so the next thing is moving around the map. Now, once you play Call of Duty for a while, you get a feel of where the choke points are. So, for example, if I'm moving down this way, I'm prepared for a player to be here because I know that's a popular place on the map. So don't, don't come over here like this and expose the right side of your body to the enemies where you know they're going to be. Instead, be prepared for them to be there. You know what I mean? So you're ready. As soon as you turn the corner, you have the advantage over your enemy because they don't know you're coming around the corner but you know where they're going to be because that's where everybody always is. So once again, you can do it here. You know, you know people are going to be coming up the stairs. You know people are going to be at the other end of this hallway right there. Just be prepared, know the choke points, and it'll really help you out getting better scores. All right, so that's about it. Um, I'm going to show you guys some footage of me quick scoping in a little bit of public matches and a little bit of private matches against bots. You can see what it looks like, you can get a feel for how it should look when you're doing it. And once again, make sure you subscribe for more advanced quick scoping tutorials and techniques and all that stuff. And you can improve your sniping throughout this year. Congratulations on learning all the basics. Now try it out in a private match against bots before you go online so you're comfortable with everything. And once again, like I said, now you can go ahead and watch me sniping in public matches and private matches so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time, peace. Ballistic best ready for deployment. I ain't afraid of no ghosts.